Hi everyone, so today we got sulfonylureas recap. So we got different drugs in this class, glyclozide, glibenclamide, glimepiride, etc. Uh, glyclozide is actually the safer and we will understand why. Um, we'll talk about the mechanism of action, adverse effects and the fun fact. So, talking about uh, sulfonylureas, they are anti-diabetic, anti-diabetic drugs, they can act in different ways and the sulfonylureas they act by increasing the insulin secretion how do they do this so they uh, act directly in the pancreatic beta cells they bind to sulfonylurea receptors the sur1 which will close the uh, potassium channels which will lead to membrane despolarization and calcium influx because the calcium channels open which will lead ultimately to insulin secretion they have possible side effects, adverse effects like hypoglycemia, that's actually the main one. And this is uh, mainly for uh, long acting agents, for example, the glibenclamide, which got a uh, long duration and it's contraindication in, in elderly, and also when we give high doses. So we should always start low with this drug, and then if needed, every two weeks we can review and see if an increase is needed. And again, the age is a risk factor for elderly. This drug can be uh, more dangerous due to renal and hepatic impairment and by causing hypoglycemia. Also, they can lead to weight gains. This is almost inevitable, but we can try to counterbalance this with diet restrictions. This is very important. And also the sulfonylureas, some uh, clinical evidence says that they can accelerate the pancreatic beta cells dysfunction. Why does this happen? Basically, we've seen that they promote the calcium influx in the cells, and this will uh, lead to uh, reactive oxygen species to be produced, which can lead to ap apoptosis of the beta cells. And just to wrap up this video, let's see just a fun factor. The sulfonylureas are actually chemical similar to antibiotics, the sulfonamides. So they are similar to them, but they don't have any antibiotic properties. But due to this, the sulfonylureas combined with trimetropy or the co trimoxazole, they can lead to hypoglycemia risk. So this is something to keep in mind.